광주 비엔날레 새첫 번째 퍼블릭 프로그램에 와주신 거를 진심으로 감사합니다. 네, 저는 광주 비엔날레 전시 기장 한금현이라고 합니다. 네, 저희가 오늘 처음으로 이제 퍼블릭 이벤트를 준비했는데요. 작가분들과 그리고 또 큐레이터들, 예술 감독들 그리고 어, 여러분들과 같이 어, 비엔날레의 처음 기획부터 그리고 여러 가지 가르치는 작가들의 이야기들을 듣는 처음 토크 프로그램입니다. 예술 감독 두 분을 소개해 드리겠습니다. 베프네 아야스 나타샤 진바레 두 분의 예술 감독께서 2020 광주 비엔날레에 대해서 간단히 소개 말씀을 드리겠습니다. 감사합니다. 안녕하세요. 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 Stephanie and I are very happy to be among you this evening. Um, we have been around this neighborhood and it's a, a very, very special place. So we are pleased to be here uh, for the first event and be at the h o n g a r a s h Studio Art Polygon. Um, also very pleased to um, have the support of the Guangzhou b i e n n a l Foundation team. Uh, and our extended team for uh, the, the 13th edition, opening 4th of September, which we have titled Minds Rising, Spirits Tuning. We have also announced 31 participating artists in the Biennale, and this is also to introduce you, uh, the community of Guangzhou, uh, to join us in welcoming the artists and to learn together about the kinds of practices that will be on stage today. So we're together with nine artists and it's our first collective site visit. It gives us an opportunity to share what we're learning but also share it with you. Even though we're a small audience here, we value intimacy very much in our search um, for intelligence. So as the artistic directors of the next uh, Guangzhou Biennale, we set out on a very ambitious um, uh, mission uh, to, to explore the entire spectrum of intelligence, as we called it, as we are very much curious how we can actually trace the notion of organic intelligence. Do we trace it to the brain? Do we trace it to the heart? Do we trace it to ancestral knowledges, healing technologies? matriarchal systems, um, and how do we connect the dots? In the same way when we're tracing electronic intelligence, or let's say artificial intelligence, how can we trace um, the ideas of technology to notions that are not necessarily Western driven, but to non-Western cosmologies that one can find mostly in Asia, but also in other parts of the world. Um, for us to be able to do that, it's very important that we connect the dots together with the artists we're working with, but also with the input of our audiences, of the artistic community here. We're also engaging a number of scientists and theoretical, um, experimental thinkers as part of our ongoing journey. So expect more public programming as part of our effort as well. This is only a first kickoff. Um, as we're embarking to give you a sense the kind of um, intimacy and sharing we're setting out to do. And on that note, welcome again. Um, thank you, Özgür Ersoy, our public programming associate. And thank you to this incredible exhibition team at the Foundation for making this event today happen. Um, we will move on with the presentations and with the introduction of Özgür. Um, and if you have your opinions what mind means and spirit means, um, if you have different translations and understandings what these words are meaning, we're also happy to open up that discussion later on with you. Thank you, Dr. Nanotipchuk, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Rose Gerin. 
Um, I'm thrilled to be part of the, the curatorial team and to be working with all of you. Um, I just want to start by saying that, um, as Ekna and Natasha emphasized, this is the, the very first collective research trip to Gwangju, and we are very excited to, um, to have nine artists with us, and they will be giving presentations and they will be in conversations with the local interlocutors uh, today and tomorrow. So we have the, the very first public programs uh, for these two days. And as you said, it's very important for us to, to think about these public programs in the early stages in the of the process so that we can start these building these conversations with, together with you. So we are very happy um, to share this space with you today. Uh, I'll just say a couple of words about the, the format of the program today. Um, so we'll have a series of artist presentations and conversations. Um, and uh, it's going to be in two parts. We'll have a very quick break, 15 minutes break in between. And after that, we will be moving to um, next door for food and to continue our conversation in an informal way. So I hope that you can be, uh, you'll be able to join us for that as well. Um, just a quick note about language. Most of the talks will be in English. In the second part, we have a conversation in Korean. So if you don't speak Korean, please make sure that you have a SI device um, from my colleagues over there. Yes? Perfect. So, uh, and before we start, I want to thank uh, the education team as well, and also the, the larger, amazing Guangzhou Biennale team, but especially Yunhee, Bo Hyun, uh, Su, and Yong Seo. Thanks so much for making this event happen. Um, so to begin with, I'm delighted to invite Fernando Palma Rodriguez to, to give the very first presentation for us. Very serious introduction. <laughs> I apologize. Um, and just a couple of words, but please, please join us. Um, for those of us who are less familiar with Fernando's practice, uh, he's based in San Pedro Atopan. Uh, and uh, he combines his training as an artist and mechanical engineer to create robotic sculptures. Um, his work responds to, to issues about indigenous communities in Mexico, um, addressing human and land rights, uh, violence and urgent environmental crises. Um, he currently lives in the agricultural region of Milpa Alta, outside of Mexico City, where he runs Calpuli Tecalto, a non-profit organization dedicated to the preservation of Nahua language and culture. So without further ado, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.